Hello everyone, this is Kurt and you are watching Kurt Me PH. For today's video I will introduce to you the marine steam boiler and discuss its working principle. But before that, what exactly is a marine steam boiler? And how does it work? Marine steam boiler is one such machinery, which is being used on board ships from the very early days of shipping when there were no propulsion or power generating auxiliary engines. During that time, boiler was used to do all the major works on ships that present day propulsion and power generating systems do. With the evolution of technology, a variety of machines took over the important jobs on ships, however, Advanced marine steam boilers are still important part of the engine power plant and cargo operations. Considering their functionality, the material used for the construction of boilers must be such that they can withstand the immense steam pressure and extreme temperature with minimum heat loss to the surroundings. Normally, carbon steel is used for the construction of pressure vessels, which are manufactured by open hearth, electric or pneumatic processes. An important point to be considered for boiler construction is that the strength of the material used is tested as per the regulatory requirements. The marine boiler works on a simple principle of change in state of water from liquid to vapor form by utilizing the heat energy. The water is boiled in an enclosed pressure vessel so that the steam generated is not lost to the atmosphere. The heating source is enclosed in an insulated furnace to ensure that the heat energy is transferred mainly to the water and not to surrounding area. As the example image show, in order to produce steam, the water need to be heated. And due to the chemical reaction of water and heat, the water starts to boil at 100 degrees Celsius and produces vapor. In marine steam boiler, the water is heated inside an enclosed pressured vessel which is the water drum and the heating is happening inside the furnace by the use of oil burner. The pressured vessel also contains the steam generated, so that it won't escape in the atmosphere and delivered into the steam distribution system via main steam valve. The heating source is enclosed in an insulated furnace. The refractory inside the furnace is a material that is resistant to decomposition by heat, and acts as an insulator from the direct contact of flame into the boiler material. The heat energy is transferred efficiently through the smoke tubes, and the surfaces outside the furnace that are surrounded by water. And that is the marine steam boiler principle. On the next video, I will discuss the components, mountings and safety system of a marine steam boiler. Thank you for watching. And see you on the next one.